spend the first night in the, in the bedroom downstairs. It was an exciting moment. Uh, just because it's been so much work, you know. Those moments when you move into a space uh, permanently, it makes you look back at the projects, makes you, makes you look forward. Um, yeah, so much work. I mean, last year, exactly last year, we were digging the hole to this space to put pipes through. We we're digging for, yeah, for plumbing. After that, the concrete walls. And much more. And, um, yeah, it feels good to be in there now. And just putting the bed in there makes it such a homely space already. You know, with the fire on, it's coming together really nicely. Still a lot to be done. Um, I'm waiting for some valves, for copper valves for the shower. So I'll probably first downstairs go in here and prepare all the piping. Uh, put a boiler in and take it from there. So I got this tiny boiler, it's the same as the one I have in the outdoor shower, 15 liters, which is more than enough for a shower. You probably disagree, but uh, I got used to the short, uh, the minimal use of water, and it's part of the life here. Um, besides that, if you're going to take long showers in the bedroom where the shower is, you're going to have a lot of uh, humidity in the room, which is not good, and with a sh short shower you reduce that so 15 liters is uh, is good also very energy efficient for the solar panels um, so yeah
Going better this time. Yeah. Better weather. It's dry mm -hmm. and warm. First winds coming. It's March. First phone. They're not going well this week. These connections are leaking. <laughs> I think almost all of them. I don't know why the Teflon is not working, and but they don't. They're very short. I have to do it in another way.
This is the quince that will probably bear fruit this year. Last year it was nothing, and the year before it was a lot. And the other one is a plum. I have never seen fruit on that one, but we'll see this year.
Nice way to spend a Saturday. I walked almost down the river, it's down there. 400 meters lower than my house, so it's a, it's a bit more looking like spring here. Beautiful flowers and green grass. Um, it's been a bit of a slow week. A lot of travel up and down to the hardware store to get plumbing bits. It's not my favorite job, but it's coming together. I used mostly the connections I've made two years ago uh, it was still working fine so um, other news the permit for the workshop is denied because they don't want log cabins here um, it needs to be built of stone so they've seen the renderings I thought it was looking quite good I think it fits in here as well but uh, it's not up to me. <laughs> you do see it in, in nearby regions, uh, in Aosta and also in the Swiss part of the Alps, close to uh, Matterhorn. You see log cabins with stone roofs, with the same roofs as you have here, and I think it's quite beautiful. But uh, not here. So I'm back to the drawing board, designing a workshop completely built of stone, which is also exciting uh, but it's gonna be a lot more work so uh mm -hmm. 